slightly different than other lectures I made before. In this lecture, we're going to look into how to connect to um, database, you know, data, relational database management systems uh, from Excel. So we are looking into two different databases here today. Uh, we're going to look into SQL Server, Microsoft SQL Server, and also we're going to look into how to connect to PostgreSQL. So connecting from Excel means that you have to have Excel versions over 2013. And the reason behind it is basically it embeds your um, Power Tools, Power Toolkit. So we're talking about Power Query, uh, Power Pivot, Power View, uh, Power Map. Um, Often uh, it gets very difficult for a lot of people to connect to um, a server, that means SQL Server or PostgreSQL Server or even MySQL Server, due to the fact that it involves a um, lot of driver missings when it comes to um, you know, older versions of Excel. And that is something to overcome and this lecture is dedicated just towards that to understand how we can connect to a SQL Server uh, at ease. So uh, what we're going to do first is basically we're going to look into the, the servers, the SQL servers we got established, and these servers are actually running in a different computers altogether. This is Windows operating system. Let's just say this is a client operating system. It's just a client I'm working on. And um, so from here, we're going to, dviewer is one of those um, SQL client that you can utilize for connecting to several SQL um, relational database management system in one in one place and I quite like it and they just came out with the new versions of 22.0.4 uh, and if you're interested then you can uh, freely download and install it and like you um, like like uh, like you see in here um, uh, we got uh, established here um, the SQL server which is the master one and then you have PostgreSQL so in in in, in SQL server we're going to look into some of these tables and let's just look into something in my work so the first thing we need to do in here is when we establish a query use um, my work okay and the semicolon and, and then enter that that means the database is changed so now we can work in my work database I'll just look into some of the tables we got in here and under tables we got a lot of tables in here the table we're interested to look into is is Lelwani products XLS okay so what we're going to do is select asterisk from Lelwani products XLS so it already um, IntelliSense has actually picked up and, and uh, give you the options to uh, pick up which one which which one you want to open so and control enter and uh, we can see the table in here and we can see the category and product subcategory and sales of this product and product id but bringing this data into excel uh, how we go about it first of all you know if you are new to sql and if you're working as a data analyst or if you're becoming a data scientist but not really sure how to actually work on um, between sql server and also from excel um, then uh, it is very important to understand a few facts is basically you need to have your database and SQL client open so that you can look into what you're doing so that's what uh, first thing you need to do so in my cases I get I get my SQL client open in here to connect to these uh, SQL server so obviously these servers are remote server but under LAN, LAN that means local area network they're not in the same computer um, as you can see from here that it shows the IP address in here. So this is um, SQL Server, Microsoft SQL Server running into completely different computer. And then we have PostgreSQL in here, which is running into another Linux uh, server. Um, so uh, let's just uh, take a look into um, our PostgreSQL server in here. Uh, we got some database in here. The database we're gonna look into again is called My Work. And under my work, we have some tables. Uh, we're going to look into uh, this gasoline table. So let's just go into um, select asterisk from Sorry, um, 
this, this is the place I need to supposed to be writing. So I got MySQL open as well. So select asterisk from We need to change the database. I think we can change it with the same command, but I'm not quite sure. Use my work. Let's see whether we can change the database. No, we can't. So it's not the same command. So we just open a um, new SQL query window that will resolve the issue so now we are in the my world select asterisk from gasoline and we select control enter and here we got some um, readings of mileage and also the liter uh, cost per liter and total cost and miles per liter um, I have converted all this from lit gallons to liters to keep it all matrix uh, matrix uh, just to keep it internationalized uh, but here we're gonna look into um, so for example liters and, um, and and total cost or miles per liter okay uh, so we can look into um, miles per liter and liter okay as so how many liters gone for how many miles okay so these data are in the databases so the question here is basically how we're gonna um, connect our Excel uh, to bring this data and we want to bring the data uh, in a more customized manner too so that is this lecture is all about so now we have looked into uh, the, um, you know the database and how we can get into the database from dbware sql client we're just going to minimize that screen and we go jump right into excel 2013 excel 2013 is okay but if you have a better versions then even better um, so i have already um, installed uh, power query and power pivot but let's just start with sql server which is the easy one so we go to power query we go to from database in here and in from sql server database so because uh, the, the computer this is not the same computer where the sql server is so we have to provide information about where we are going so in my case it is 192.168.1 dot 10 that's the ip address or the internal ip address of where the sql server is residing then backslash and then you have to put the instance name of your sql server so that is in my case this is all capital letter ms sql developer so that's a you know free um, versions but is production level um, uh, sql relational database management system even though you got it free uh, so it's called ms sql developer instance and from here the database we are going to be connect to and for that we need to go back in here and we need to look into in databases under here and we can see we call it my work okay so we type my work in here and this is not capital letter my work okay and from here the SQL statement that's what I was saying that we wanted to make it more customized so what we can do we can go back to our client and customize our SQL statement so let's just say we have looked into the furniture and bookcases and all these all these data we looked into but we want something customized so what we want is basically let's say select a category and then we want um, some of cells okay and from Lalwani Aprox XLS and we want it group by category okay so obviously this is SQL so if you're working in a data analyst and data science you have to have certain level of SQL skills otherwise you you're you know you, you are stuck really uh, so from here uh, group by category and then order by uh, cells let's say desc and that basically what we're doing here is basically we're telling sql to find out 
which products has the highest sell okay which um, category of the products has the highest sell and we can execute that command control enter and um, there was some query we have made some mistakes in here here cells incorrect syntax uh, select category here there's a comma missing um, so control enter column number one this is invalid in the order by clause yeah so here it basically because we did the aggregation so we need to do this is part of debugging you know you get used to with it um, so we because we have aggregated it it wants the aggregated water by as well so it should be okay now control enter so we see uh, the technology furniture and office supplies and is showing us um, the details so let's say we just want that information or maybe a little bit more control C uh, what we need to do we could do something other than rather than doing that we can do control V and select distinct category and then cells not not some cells so just the cells so we want to see we want to see all the cells you know not the summation of the cells but we also wanted to see in a distinct category wise and we don't need the group by because we're not summing it so we get rid of that water by let's say cells DSC so what is the difference between them two this is not a SQL tutorial but you need it for your data science and data analyst work if the difference is basically this is not aggregating but this is just going to show all the categories but we only wanted to show uh, the categories distinctively but the cells is involved so the cells might differ from each product to each product even though the products are same so let's just take a look what happened so you can see now technology has came quite quite a few times and so do office supplies but what it has done is basically it bring all the cells from highest to lowest and the cells in technology at one point was 22,000 and another point was 17,000 etc etc but it didn't sum it okay so this makes more sense to me so we're gonna copy that control C and we're gonna paste that in our Excel SQL query here okay and now we're gonna establish the connection so what we have done we have put down and if you're outside of your LAN then you just put down your domain name here and then you finish with your port name in a, a comma okay so in, in, if you have been outside of your local area network then you have to put the port name and my port was 1410 okay but we're not doing that but sql server listen to the port 1434 okay but i have mapped it to 1410 that means every time uh, it wants to connect it 1410 represent 1434 when it comes to port forwarding uh, but anyway so this is the local area network and uh, database is my work and, and and this is the statement we want and we click ok and it is trying to connect it and hopefully it will connect it and here we go so we got your data set in here we can look into edit and it's gone right into the uh, power query so we can open the power query in here and i like power query because it's quite powerful if you have to do all these in um, traditional excel then you will struggle so it has already promoted the category and the cells as you can see and also the different types of the um, um, the field so your category is a text field textual so that's why abc and it's a decimal number so you got all this data in here and we got total quite a large number of data in here as you can see and the data look good and now we can actually load and close and load the data right inside in our excel sheet and data will be in here okay so that's the first part of this lecture where we connected with SQL Server. The second part of the lecture is a bit tricky because we want some data coming in um, from our, let's say we want some data coming in. This is, this is let's say we're just going to rename that sheet to, to SQL Server. Uh, okay. 
and what we wanted to do now we want to create a connections with PostgreSQL and bring in some data from PostgreSQL we looked into the table of gasoline in PostgreSQL in here and that is in here that gasoline table okay and that's going to be a little tricky so please pay attention so from here the first thing we need to do PostgreSQL is not directly connected with SQL uh, with your Excel 2013 version because of various technical issues so we had to bring something called ODBC driver um, and that uh, actually worked as a catalyzer to connect to your PostgreSQL server so the first thing you need to do in here is basically I actually made another lecture where I showed you exactly how where to go and um, collect that ODBC driver and install it but that is a different lecture but what you need to do providing that you already have that installed then you need to go to data and then existing connection and then from here you uh, do browse for more and then connect to a new data source click that and then from here you choose other is fine go to next and then from here you choose Microsoft OLEDB provider um, ODBC driver okay that's the one ODBC driver that's the one we want next and then from here we're gonna use a connection string and the connection string is the PostgreSQL's number so there's another server here we are talking about 192.168.1.30 okay that's my Linux server and the username is Postgres okay that's the Postgres by default username and I'm going to put down my password to connect to Postgres SQL but we're not gonna do test connection we're not gonna do okay we need to build this connection string okay because it has not been built yet so we're gonna click build and then from here is asking where you want to save it etc etc um, that domain service name or domain server name we don't gonna put anything but we instead click new okay and from here we're gonna choose NC standard password SQL okay that's the one we want we want to choose and click next and here we're gonna browse where exactly we want so we already have a connection set up in here so we're just gonna override that and it goes inside the path is showing you where exactly it's been going so click next click finish and now it is asking you to provide the SQL credential this is the screen you need so from here the database we know let's just go back to the DBL client in here DBL client and from here we know that we're going to the database called my work okay so let's just type my work and then from here the port is 5432 that's the PostgreSQL port um, server is if you are remote again you have to put down your domain name and then you have to put down your um, with, a, with a comma you have to put down your port well, well sorry yeah you already put down the port is here anyway so you don't have to do that so you just have to put down your IP address so in our case this is 192.168.1.30 okay and the username is Postgres password is this okay and click OK and because we already had one and he's asking whether you should overwrite and we should yes and then that's fine and click OK and click OK 
and now the connection is very standard and this is the one this is the code you can actually utilize this code for uh, power bi and another lecture i'm going to show you how to connect to um, um, from power bi how to connect to your PostgreSQL and this is the same code snippet of code in here that is the one that you need when you connect it to your um, PostgreSQL this is a very simple code but it has a lot of information on what we put down here but nevertheless so if you say test connection test connection succeeded so that's brilliant and now we are connected click OK and as soon as we click OK it's gonna show us the data you know the, the, the table in here but here you don't have the options of um, uh, customizing your uh, or um, writing a SQL code to customize your uh, table you know the, what query you want unfortunately um, so we can do that in power bi but not from odbc connection uh, platform in here in excel not in excel 2013 unfortunately so now we click next and um, and we just uh, we can name differently if you want to name it differently my work gasoline it says that's the file name um, we could we could say my work there is nothing in there so we could uh, sort of underscore it so my work is actually our database name and the gasoline is our table name that's why I put down that underscore and friendly name is my work gasoline this is going to be saved and we're gonna keep go to browser and we're gonna save it in here that's that's fine so we already have one saved so next time when you come in here you don't really have to do all these so click save and finish and you want it in this sheet in here sheet one click OK and all our data is in here uh, so this lecture actually um, covered a quite a bit of base in terms of how you actually connect to PostgreSQL from your Excel which has quite a lot of process involved and obviously uh, connecting to SQL server uh, from Excel as well hope you find this lecture useful for your work and I look forward to see you in the next lecture thank you